Now that we have entered into the software our actual progress, we want to look at our earned value indicators in order to see how well we're doing. Before we do this, we always want to make sure that we have the correct status report date. We click on the project tab and confirm that our status report date is indeed the 10th of January. I have found that even though you have entered in the status date and saved it, after closing the document and reopening it, the status date will on occasion need to be re-entered. Since having an incorrect status date will give you incorrect earned value performance information, it is very important to double check this and make sure that this information is entered in correctly. After we are confident that the status report date is correct, we need to click on the View tab. Click on Tables, then select More Tables. If we scroll up a bit, we can see, see our Earned Value information here. Select Earned Value and click on Apply. Now we have in front of us the Earned Value information. We can see that we only have information for the first few tasks. This is because our status report date is on the 10th of January, so only activities that have actually completed work up to this point will have Earned Value associated with them. If we happen to go back, and change our status date to let's say the 17th, you will see that our numbers have changed. If we look at this report, by January 17th, we planned to spend roughly $15,000. So far, the earned value is a little over $16,000. Earned value can also be interpreted as the planned value of the work we have actually completed. And as you can see here, we have actually spent a bit over $20,000. We have a positive schedule variance, which indicates that almost $900 worth of work has been completed up to this point that wasn't planned on being completed. But we have a negative cost variance. This indicates that based on the work that has been completed, we are over budget by approximately $4,200. If we scroll over a bit, we can see the forecasted cost at completion. This indicator tells us that, assuming the CPI or cost efficiency stays relatively constant throughout the rest of the project, the cost at completion will be around $55,500. Here is our planned cost at completion, which is a little over $44,000, and the variance cost at completion is the difference between the two. A negative variance indicates that the project will be completed over budget, in this case, by over $11,000.